The atmosphere is free falling into a La Nina state, specifically the sea surface temperatures. There will be ramifications to our atmosphere, of course. And look at the La Nina odds by the time we're through the summer. It's well over 50%. And we can look back at some of some famous North America La Nina summers. And you'll note the trend to warmer than normal across a wide swath of country. There's 2010, a big warm blob over Ontario with those temperature anomalies. In the summer of 2016, there is June. We'll play this ahead. July, August, that heat really built across southern Quebec and regions across Ontario. This would be the opposite. You know, those cooler than normal summers, we would typically look for an El Nino building. So we're not looking at really a bummer of a summer across southern Ontario. What I'm worried about is the Atlantic hurricane season. Here are some hyperactive analog seasons. Those blues are active La Nina years. And there it is, more hurricanes due to record-breaking water temperatures in the Atlantic.